Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Morris Hills. Today is Thursday, April 18th, and this is nighttime in the morning. In class news, attention juniors, we are opening up another time to buy prom bids today after school. Please come immediately after school to room 164. In school news, Project Kind Junior is hosting the One Journey at a Time Benefit Dinner on Sunday, April 28th at the American Legion. This dinner will sponsor Anthony, a person experiencing homelessness into housing. Tickets for students are only $20. Follow Project Kind Junior on Instagram for more details. Office of Requesting will hold the next mandatory safe driving presentation on April 30th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. You must attend with your parent or guardian, and attendance will be taken. Completed registration forms for the, SA, for the free SAT boot camp are due to the principal's office by today. There are no computers blocks 3A and B in the library. Also, entries in the annual library bookmark contest are due today. In sports news, if you are interested in showing off your school spirit, then it's that time again. An interest meeting for fall cheerleading will be held May 1st in room 158 directly after school. It will last for about 15 minutes. In clubs news, meeting today is MH Pride in room 127. We will enjoy refreshments as part of our meeting. Please join us in 127 after school. And finally, today's kindness quote by American author Barbara DeAngelis is, Love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. They bless the one who receives them, and they bless you, the giver. Thank you, Mars Hills. I'm Ash Rodriguez. And I'm Eric Ustepsky. Please stay tuned for our sixth SAT tip of the day and some artwork from the Mixed Media Sculpture class. Have a thrilling Thursday and enjoy your spring break. This may seem obvious, but make sure you read the whole question carefully before you try to figure out the answer. Once you've read the question, cover the answer option with your hand and try to come up with the answers on your own. Then compare the answers to the options. This helps make sure that you don't get distracted by answer choices that seem like they might be right, even though you haven't thought about it very deeply. 